back up. Well, let's take a look at how things went down there at Lambeau. There is Aaron Rodgers. That went two against the Bears on Monday night, but ain't no one all other days. Not a wow. good start for Rodgers on the opening drive. Rodgers here goes oh. down hard on that shoulder. Shane McClellan kind of wraps him up, and you can see Rodgers wincing there. And we don't know exactly what the injury is. We just know that he left the game with the shoulder injury. Some reports have said collarbone, but we do know that Seneca Wallace. I'm calling it an AC the joint. The way he ran off there, I've had enough shoulder Dr. Bags, Heath though. Evans. Well, I'm just saying, when you've been hurt, you like I have. <laughs> Early on, Seneca picked off how by Julius times? Peppers. DJ, oh. how many times have we seen yards? this? Uh, we've mean, seen it a few times over his career. Blocking kicks, tipping balls up in the air, making athletic plays. The sack production not there. Julius Peppers is still a freak. Yeah, yeah the same number of sacks and interceptions this year wow. for Julius Peppers. Look out, Seneca Wallace getting chased by the entire Chicago Bears defense. He probably should have thrown it there, but I think he was still showing his <laughs> elusivity. Well, he also saw Julius Peppers coming from yeah. behind. So he's like, just let me get out of bounds. Well, this, in my opinion, was the throw of the game for Big Josh McCown mm. to the guy who made him look good here, Brandon Marshall. Pretty good throw and pretty good catch. Oh, he stepped up in the pocket to avoid the sack, first of all, to get the ball out there, and then Brandon Marshall to go up the concentration to finish that. Big time play for the Bears. The Bears go up 7-3. to three. Here's Adam Podlesh oh. plenty here, but he's blocked by Jamari Lattimore, recovered by Chris Banjo. Listen, you practice the special team punt protection every single day of the week. No excuse for that. This and is a man here now. <laughs> James Starks, his best run of the game. I'm telling you. I think that might have been his first run of the game. He looked <laughs> explosive. Eddie Lacy was the hammer. All of a sudden, lightning yeah, came out of a bottle there with exactly. James Starks. 32-yard touchdown. Packers go up 10-7. Josh McCown, here he goes, finding a rhythm and finding Matt Forte here. He can make you look good, can he, guys? I think Matt Forte can make you look bad if you're trying to tackle him as well. You see him in space, great speed, great vision. I love watching Matt play. That good for 33 yards and then two plays later, Martellus Bennett. Oh, you should have challenged this one. I know it doesn't really matter, but Martellus Bennett, DJ, you know he's unhappy. He was right there. What about the fadeaway throw by McCown, though? <laughs> I love nice. It. Down at the one-yard line, Matt Forte scores the touchdown. Two Bears possessions later, it's McCown to Brandon Marshall for a 16-yard gain. And then a few plays after that, McCown keeps it himself. You know, he has underrated wheels. Mm. Big time play there to flip his feet. Caused the <laughs> defender to take a flat angle. Got about 15, 16 extra yards right there. Well, that sets up a Robbie Gold field goal and makes it a 17-10 game. In the third, Packers give it to Eddie Lacy and the Rook can run. Oh, the big Rook can run. That is a big back with wheels. I like to see that stiff arm there at the end to get in the end zone. But, you know. Young safety's out there, by the way. Not the angle you want to take <laughs> that Chris County just took. I'm yeah. not sure there's an angle you want to take on Eddie Lacy. That was a 56-yard run, then a one-yard touchdown plunge, and we're tied at 17. How about the onside kick from Mason Crosby? Oh, hey, he popped that thing up. Paid that dividends is, here, didn't it? It is gorgeous. I like the guts that it takes for Coach McCarthy to call this. Listen, you know your quarterback's hurt. Lay it on the line. Go get a division win. All right. Well, they're liking it here. Seneca Wallace to James Jones. Oh. Nearly picked oh. off. Instead, they get a 17-yard gain. Take another look at how close this was and how lucky Seneca Wallace Ooh. got. How does it get through Anderson's hand, DJ? I have no clue. Oof. Right, and split them. Exactly. And then, what do we got here? He fumbles, Come but then on. he recovers. Seneca's saying, thank goodness. Aaron Rodgers comes back to the field, gives the thumbs up to the crowd. As you can see, not wearing a sling or a brace of any sort as far as we can tell. What a catch here. All Sean Jeffrey just goes up and gets it. The thing it? about this catch that's so impressive, he catches it at its highest point, and he doesn't try and tuck it into his body. Therefore, he can control it. If he tries to pull that ball down, House probably gets a hand on it, knocks it out. What a play. It's like a big man in basketball. You get the rebound, you just hold it up high, right, DJ? As a big man, Dan, you know that well. Wait, well, as you know, <laughs> a solid six feet. Fourth quarter, Matt Forte that's, goes that's left. That's 5'11", you and for, Drew Brees. <laughs> for a first down, and that was a big first down on fourth and inches. Three plays later, McCown to Brandon Marshall for an 11-yard gain. So the Bears at midfield marching. Three plays after that, Forte for another big chunk, 15 yards, and he keeps the clock running here. 
Staying in bounds, very instinctive move there by Forte. The veteran, he, he's a veteran. Absolutely smart player. And they just give it to Forte again. They just keep feeding him. He picks up eight and the first down for the Bears. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to chew up the clock, run out as much time as they can. Michael Bush this time up the middle for six yards. The Packers take their final timeout. Now this drive would lead to a 27-yard Robbie Gold field goal, giving the Bears a 27-20 lead. Santa Koala scrambling, sacked by Corey Wooten for a 17-yard loss, and that's what, basically what's that? the robot. Is that the, the robot? robot? <laughs> what's that dance call? I don't what that's called. Yeah, I don't know. So 27 to 20 is the final. 